Hello everyone. Welcome to the React Masterclass by My Project Ideas. I am Mohit, your tutor, and in this tutorial we are going to see what is a dynamic code block and where to use it. So these are the things we are going to cover in this tutorial. What are the expressions and dynamic code block and when and where you can use the dynamic code block and we will conclude what is best suitable thing to do. So what are the expressions and dynamic code block? So expressions can be any JavaScript code or it can be a React variable or props or any state that is considered as expression. And the dynamic code block is denoted by the curly braces and is used to write the expressions in between JavaScript XML. So just like this, uh, suppose this expression is a dynamic one, dynamic variable. So it can be anything. So, so because it is a variable, that's why I have to define it between the curly braces or inside the dynamic code block. So when and where we can use the dynamic code block. Just like in the previous tutorial, we have seen like uh, how to use the props. So for the props, we will use the dynamic code block and inside any component page or app.jsx. It is used to define the logic inside the JSX or using variables or states in the JSX elements. You can also dynamically render the lists and arrays. And these things we will see in the upcoming tutorials. To the conclusion, we will frequently use expressions, the dynamic code blocks inside the components, mainly the stateful components. More on the stateful components later. And we can also use the concept of conditional rendering inside the dynamic code block. And we are also going to cover the conditional rendering on a separate tutorial video. Any prop, state, variable or conditional UI logic that renders the elements can be written with the help of dynamic code block. So yes, this was a quite short tutorial to know about the dynamic code block. And we will be using the dynamic code block in the many places. And we will use it more and more frequently. So for the next tutorial, we will see what should be the ideal folder structure for our React project. And I'm very excited to see you in the next tutorial.